There's something going on and it's bad. Something's going on. What's going on? Yeah, but what's going on? I said, what's going on? What's going on with Chelsea? We don't know. The domino effect already started. Because let's be honest, if you are bringing more players, you have to let go also many, many players. We have so much to cover, so we don't have time to waste on intro and all, all the good stuff. But before anything, please take one second to give me a like, subscribe to the channel, comment down below, and let's keep the conversation going. Social media is about narrative, copy-paste narrative. What you want to hear is what you're going to believe. So we heard that everything been done very quickly and it could be announced in the next coming days when it comes to Dewsbury from Leicester City. And Will came to say, listen, this shows that the owners are backing the manager which is the opposite of what they did with uh, Mauricio Pochettino because they didn't give him what he wanted. And some geniuses on, online are going to say, no, that is not true. It's just because Chelsea been following this guy for a long period of time. So it has nothing to do with them backing the manager. So it's always a lose-lose situation. So people need to get on with their lives because pointing fingers and talking crap is not the way to go. And after that, Fabrizio Romano even confirmed that Enzo Maresca has also approved the decision to proceed with uh, Mr. Dewberry. And it shows that Chelsea are backing the manager. And I don't understand what the, the narrative is coming from on social media about the owners not backing the manager. It looks like if you are negative, that's how you're going to be successful. If you point finger and insult and make theories and narrative about the owners or about certain players, that's how you're going to be successful on social media. So, simple. Omari Hutchison to Ipswich Town is a here we go on permanent deal. The fee is going to be 22 million plus add ons. Chelsea will not have a buyback close, but there will be a sell on close. Exclusive story confirmed by Fabrizio Romano. Listen, I wanted to keep him since we didn't get Michael Olise, but. The club decided to do their own way. I just hope that we don't regret the way we regret today about Salah and about De Bruna. I know he's going to cook. He's a very good player. And I see him in a big team after just one season at, uh, at Ip Ipswich. So good luck to my brother. Listen, Chelsea are getting money. And Arsenal also are getting money. They have a sell-on percentage. They got him literally on free from Arsenal. But Arsenal were smart to put a percentage. I don't know, you know, it's 10% of 20% from the money that Chelsea are going to get. And then Chelsea are going to get another percentage. That one has nothing to do with Arsenal in case... Ipswich City sells him. Let me know in the comment section down below if you think this is a good decision for Chelsea to let go a very, very good player like him. Or you think there are so many of them in the attack. Some of them need to, to go in order to replace uh, with uh, other, other players. This must be a joke. This is like April Fool. So when I was recording this video, I saw managing Barca. Uh, he actually uh, referred us to another account, apparently a big account there, very close to Barcelona. 
and uh, he said that uh, Mark Gray will join Sevilla on loan after he has joined Chelsea. I don't know. I don't know what that is. But I think this is April Fool. How the how the heck Chelsea are going to loan him to Sevilla while everything is indicating that this guy is going to be in the first team. I don't believe I don't believe in the news, but it is what it is. Because Fabrizio Romano actually said that he completed his medical in London yesterday. Six million release clause already activated and he's going to be on tour with Chelsea. So I don't believe on this unless if Chelsea decides to go for another big striker and they want to give Mark enough playing time. But still, I don't believe on that. He's going to be in the first team. I want to keep him in the first team. Okay, this one is a bomb and I don't like this kind of news. AC Milan are negotiating with Chelsea for Carney Chukwemeka. Milan aims to close the deal with an option to buy. They want him on loan with option to buy. AC Milan are cheap stick. They, they always try to get players for almost nothing from Chelsea. And if they want to sell their player, they always increase the price. I don't think Chelsea should sell Carney. I think Ch Carney Chukwemeka is going to be very good if you give him the same opportunity to, to fight for his place. Not like leave him on the, on the bench for, for three months and give him just one league game here and there. That is not fighting. Fighting is you give players equal opportunity to play on the pitch and not just sitting on the bench and waiting for somebody to get injured. It's going to be really, really sad for me to see Carney go. And uh, Fabrizio Romano actually came to say, Chelsea current position on Carney Chukwemeka, no intention to let him leave on loan. So no loan, but Chelsea is open for a permanent sell. No, no, no loan, but they are open to sell if a good proposal is going to be on the table. Remember Chelsea bought him two years ago for 18 million from Aston Villa. The first season was so, so he didn't play a lot for many, many reasons. The second season, he started very good, got injured for a long period of time. And today we are thinking already about selling him. So, at Chelsea Football Club, I don't understand what the plan is, but it looks like players just come and go immediately. You know, we don't give them equal opportunity to play. Very, very sad indeed. All right, my friend, another one of the kids that Chelsea are trying to get from Argentina, 19 years old, Aaron Anselmino. Um... So Chelsea have full agreement on personal terms, according to Romano. But I saw it before even Romano from some sources in Spanish language from South America. And uh, they claimed this since yesterday. However, they are still working on the deal with Boca Junior. So I don't know what the deal is, but according to the source that I read this morning, they said everything with Boca Junior is agreed. 18 million plus some add-ons and he's flying to london in the next coming days have his medical and get loaned immediately to strasbourg so we have to wait and see what is going to happen welcome to chelsea mr aaron that Fofana and armando Bruja are unlikely to accept being part of uh, any kind of deals Swap deals with uh, Dewberry Hall from Leicester City. Because this morning, some news came out to say that it will be, uh, you know, it will be some 
players involved from Chelsea is going to cost about 35 million. And some sources are saying that actually Leicester City would like to hook a deal with uh, Cesar Casade separately instead of like involving him in the swap deal with Mr. Hall. That Rufofana also is on the market, people. It's very, very sad how we do with people. Uh, we get excited when we sign them. And then before even they have a full game, a full 90 minute for Chelsea Football Club, they're already out of the door. And we go shop for other target. I don't make decisions. I'm a Chelsea fan. I will support whoever comes. But I have a lot of questions really going on through my mind. What is the real plan for all the players that we are buying? See this? This just shows you how Chelsea transfer is treated. <laughs> that clip shows you. You're coming to fight. You haven't even thought yet. Bam. You are out. <laughs> it is what it is. Mm -hmm.